Hi everyone, welcome back to Taya's Travel Tips. So we're going to talk again a little bit today on how to travel during the coronavirus, how to get that, you know, a little weekend getaway, maybe even a full seven days or two weeks, I don't know what you, what kind of rest you need. So um, my um, tip for you would be research where you're going, check into the rules, you don't want to get there and it be on lockdown or then be considering lockdown again because numbers go because of coronavirus numbers going up you want to be in a place where you're not going to have to have a um, a quarantine or anything like that you want to be in somewhere that your state is fine with you going and their state is you know they're not going to have a, any kind of quarantine either way there are some states where if you travel from I think New Jersey to Florida, you're supposed to quarantine when you get to Florida, and then when you go home, you're supposed to quarantine another two weeks. So whatever your vacation was, that's a month that you're supposed to now have been in quarantine somewhere. Um, my second eye while you were gone, or that restaurant you were really looking forward to, just be prepared to get it to go. You might not be able to actually have the dine-in experience, and sometimes that's okay. You still get to go somewhere, you still get to have fun. Also, when you are looking at any kind of destination, be prepared to maybe stay a little bit outside of where you would normally stay. If you're planning on going to Gulfport, Mississippi, you might need to stay in Biloxi. You might need to just look a little bit further up or down the coast. You might want, you're not wanting to stay anywhere that's super congested, that's having a lot of people. Pack a mask, pack a bunch of masks, get some on your way, get some that match your outfits, make it fun for the kids because a lot of states are mandating. Everyone has to wear a mask over two, over 10. It depends where you're going. Um, I was at the doctor's office recently and my state says 10 and under don't have to wear a mask or maybe it's 10 overdue. I don't know. Anyway, but I had a four year old and a six year old with me and the doctor wanna, said that they needed to wear masks. So even if your state doesn't mandate the kids under a certain age, um, definitely not under two, I'm not recommending masks for anyone under two, but definitely if they're under that under 10 mark that a lot of states are now saying that under 10 they don't need to wear one, bring one just in case because you don't want to get there and them need one and you can't find any kids masks. Also, um, look at something all inclusive like a resort. I know there's a lot of Margaritaville, uh, places like Margaritaville, Great Wolf Lodge. Those are some places that still have the things you wanted there. there. They have the things you wanted there, like um, the water park or like some sort of attraction. Maybe, you know, for the adults going to a casino that's open or having some sort of you know, something in where you're staying. If you are staying at a cabin, they might have a lake there. You might want to rent a boat. You might want to stay on a lake, rent a lake, uh, a beach house. I seen, I think in West Texas, it's a little expensive. It's 25 acres, but it's got cabins. You can bring up to 20 something people with you. And it's got like slides and water, not maybe not a water park, but it's got, you know, um, water slides like a water park and you can rent, uh, you have golf carts there. Jellystone is something else. They normally have some sort of water activities there. You can fish, you can do all kinds of stuff. Um, but again, just make sure you're checking before you leave and before you actually pick where you're gonna go that there is no um, requirements that you need to be aware of. If you wanna go to a museum, look into the museums don't just assume like oh they're gonna be open no big deal um a lot of things are requiring oh i'm gonna go to disneyland today or disney world and buy a ticket and get in that's not happening i can tell you that right now you don't want to get there stand out in the heat and just not be able to get in a lot of things are being reserved in advance and you will not be allowed in without a ticket and a reservation slot if you have those already done I would suggest always screenshotting it, maybe printing it out, just having a copy or some kind of documentation proof. I've tried to check into a hotel before 
and I had a room that had three beds which of course is not common um so I get there and they are telling me that I my group of six that's in one hotel room just I would say copy it um have a screenshot of whatever kind of documentation you have whatever confirmation um that's what screenshots are awesome for um but when you get there that way you can have something to back it up whether you have it, whether it is a science museum whether it's a zoo whether it's a water park or a hotel i've tried to check into a hotel before with a group of six we reserved a room with three beds so um all of our family could be in one room and I get there and they give me a room with a bed and a couch, which is a second bed and your confirmation number or your order number. That way, if you do have any, um, if you do have any, uh, if you do have any difficulties, you have that proof right there. You have that I am scheduled for this kind of room. It's this kind of hotel or it's this, it's this time slot at the amusement park. Um, Jeff, I would definitely recommend checking out Airbnb or VRBO, anything like that, or I prefer, I like hotels.com. So anything like that, check, make sure they, about their cancellation policies. Oh, and there's something else that you might want to consider, um, renting an RV or a camper. If you have the ability to pull it, uh, be careful when you're driving it. I'm not responsible if you are, um not the best RV driver. Um, that is something that you could do. Um, anyway, so these are my tips and tricks for going on a trip right now with the coronavirus. See you next time on Taya's Travel Tips. Don't forget to like and subscribe.